Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the quick update for the Southern Front. So, uh, particularly it's actually uh, between Mykolaiv and Kherson. Uh, previously have reported that the Ukrainian forces have uh, launched an offensive through Davidiv Brit uh, and they reached as far as Bruskinske. And the Russian sources say that the offensive is a failure and uh, the ukrainian forces has been have, has been smashed and then the U russian forces uh are trying to find find and hunt down the scattered forces however this is a one-sided story uh we have no idea how true is it so more information have came out uh this one more towards from the ukrainian side uh, particularly true information seems to be revealed by the ukrainian uh, defense ministry so the Ukrainian forces actually crossed at Bilohorska, uh, Bilo uh, Luzov, and Andrivka around this region as well. So it's not just here. So there is fighting reported at Bilohorska, uh, Bilo Luzov, and Andrivka. Of course, uh, when we say fighting, we are not so sure if they actually there is actually real fire fight or you no. Know, is there really a uh, proper resistance because this is a really long front uh i have my doubts whether there are sufficient russian forces uh, in this region to protect uh, these areas and the uh, ukrainian forces has has reportedly captured novo high grigorivka so so in russian they actually pronounce h as g so novo krihorivka or novo Grigor, Grigor, grigorivka whatever you want to call it uh however i never indicate this uh town as russian control but uh, it is conceivable that uh, the russians can easily just walk in and out anytime because there is no ukrainian forces uh stationed there uh then they also reportedly have captured the davidiv breed uh so i left this one here uh, because just for additional information there is good um the it is conceivable or you not know, believable that below Horivka, uh, below Herska, below Herka, Luzov, Lozov, and uh, Andrivka has been captured by the Ukrainian forces because it is unlikely that the Russian forces will be able to keep this position uh, as this is the launch point uh, for this incursion into uh, Kherson. Uh, in a way, I do, I'm not even sure if you can call this the middle. Uh, but it's a good move i uh, i personally approve of this uh, offensive because it is uh attacking a weak weak point of uh, the russian lines and uh this is going to force the russians to actually have to reinforce this area according to the ukrainian uh general staff uh, in their operational uh information they ha they say that the russians as usual suffered losses um and they took positions in the village of Kostromka, although they seem to call this uh, position as a uh, disadvantageous, uh, not sure why. Is it because it's a small town? Uh, no idea. And th there's actually this squarish thing. This this squarish thing always seems to be some kind of a military defensive kind of position to me. Uh, it's uh, it's it's all over Ukraine. Um, not sure what is the real purpose. Uh, if you guys know. Uh, can share uh there's always you know all this uh uh maybe is it here no sorry never mind the is you no know, it, it exists you no know, very a lot of places you know uh this kind of a weird square uh with embankments you know with a higher race ground around uh looks like a defensive positions uh usually to me anyway this is just a quick update about uh this there is no indication that this entire offensive has been uh has disappeared as of now uh, because this is just new information that uh, these few positions is actually uh, involved in this offensive previously we only know of WD, Breed and uh, Brookinski so anyway uh, that's all for the free update and I'll see you uh, in the next update